Good morning everybody. It's really good to be able to share with you just some very simple thoughts this week. Um, probably like me, you've been thinking what on earth is God doing? What is he saying to us in Market Raisin but also to the church within this country? And while I was thinking and praying, my, my mind went back to when we were studying the book of Luke. Uh, one of the preaches that I did right early on in the year, I was drawn to a particular verse in chapter 8, verse 18. And it said this, Be careful how you listen. And I believe that's what God is saying. He's got us hemmed in. Uh, Stuart Bell preached uh, a few weeks ago. He's got our attention and we need to listen. He's certainly doing something new. There seems to be a clarity amongst the church that God is doing a new thing. But what actually that new thing will look like, there doesn't seem to be clarity. And he's saying to the church, will you wait upon me so that I can reveal to you what I want you to do, where I want you to go. I am certainly doing a new thing. And at the moment it's difficult to perceive what that actually is. So I said, that's good, I'm excited that God, you're doing new things and you want the church to move in that direction. So what do we do um, in, the, in the meantime while we're intently listening? Well, again, God drew me to, again, a very famous and well-known bit of scripture. It's in Acts 2. Um, and it's verse 42. It's basically what the church is always called to do. And it's as we do these things that we will perceive what God is doing and what God is saying. And I think this is a, just a, a very simple clarion call to us just to be encouraged by it. It says this, and you'll be wary, very aware of it. It says, continue to devote yourselves to the apostles' teaching and to fellowship and to the breaking of bread and to prayer. The best way, I think, for us to listen and to hear what God is doing is to devote ourselves to the apostles' teaching, to scripture, to dig deep into it and hear God speaking through his Holy Spirit. And then also it, it's good, to, even though we can't meet face to face, it really is good to see one another on Zoom if we can get to that or ring each other up or make some sort of connection. Fellowship is so important. And uh, direct fellowship is vital. And one day, praise God, we'll get back to that so we can see each other face to face. But I hope you noticed also that we are more regularly uh, taking bread and wine together. I believe God's really bringing this to the fore where God uh, reveals himself through the breaking of bread as we proclaim his death and resurrection. It's important. And then finally, again and again through scripture, um, the way to hear God is to devote ourselves to prayer. We need to be that praying people. And I just want to encourage you, if you haven't come along to the Monday um, evening Zoom prayer times, please try and make every effort to make it. God is speaking very powerfully through those times. So my friends, I'm missing you. Uh, missing the fellowship together, it's a time to listen. And many of you I know have communicated to me, you're hearing things that God is saying to you. Keep those coming. And I'd be really interested to know what God's saying to you. So listen carefully. And let's just dig deep into the apostles' teaching, fellowship, breaking of bread, and prayer together. Have a great week, folks. Look forward to seeing you soon. God bless you all.